In an episode of BBC One's Antiques Roadshow, viewers were introduced to a variety of items brought to experts at Wallaton Hall in Nottingham. Two sisters brought along a hand-painted teapot that had been in their family for as long as they could remember, and were interested in seeing how much the item could be worth. It was, however, the item's unusual history that left the guests speechless. Will Farmer stunned guests with the backstory of a teapot dating back to the 1920s. The auctioneer, who has a passion for 20th century ceramics, could not contain his excitement as he revealed the historic origins of the rare item. Belonging to their late mum, the guests admitted they were unaware of the family ornament's history. Speaking to the expert, the guests said, it belonged to our mum and it was always there as an ornament in our house, it wasn't used, but it was kept on the shelf. When asked if they had a name for the teapot, the guests laughed and told Will, we just called it the Fat Lady. The teapot, which was painted to look like a lady wearing an apron, was however revealed to have a different name entirely. Will proceeded to inspect the item further, before revealing the real name for the collectible, you called it the Fat Lady? He asked the guests. He continued, let me erase all of your life memories with this teapot because I would like to introduce you to Bones the Butcher. The guests were noticeably excited to learn more about their family's sentimental piece, while Will continued to draw out their intrigue. He explained, Bones the Butcher was created in 1928 in the potteries by a lady whose name you might have heard of. He then went on to reveal that the teapot was a piece created by the famous ceramic artist Clarice Cliff. He continued, in 1928, Clarice started to work on a range of new wares that were called Kitty's Wear, and it was actually created with a young lady called Joan Shorter. Aware of Clarice's work, the guests were giddy at the new insight into the family ornament as well hinted at the rarity of the piece. Will told the guests the teapot was actually a part of a set that was made as a joint partnership between Clarice and Joan, who was the daughter of Clarice's boss Collie Short. Collie Short wanted, Joan, to work with Clarice to create some plates, pots, crockery, all things that children could use, Will told the guests as he admired the painted details across the teapot. But it seemed like this particular teapot fell through the net, and didn't carry, Clarice's, name making it rare. Eager to hear Will's valuation of the item, the guests waited as the expert conducted his final inspection. So we've got to look at the value and there is a little hairline crack just there at the top of the handle, Will admitted to the sisters. He then revealed, taking that into consideration, Bones the Butcher is worth £800 to £1,000. The guests were stunned to hear of its unbelievable value, thanking the expert for exposing its rare origins. Will concluded by telling the sisters to take home Bones the Butcher and enjoy it.